do I need a free lodgement meeting? The answer to this question, in my personal opinion, comes down to two key considerations. First and foremost, what are you actually proposing? Is it something, without wanting to offend anyone, that we personally consider to be cookie cutter? So for us, renovations, extensions to like a small lot, house, a character house, things like that, we literally lodge over 100 applications for that sort of thing each and every year. We see those proposals each and every day. So we have a very, very good idea as to how council's going to handle that type of proposal. Or is it something out of the box? Is it not a tick box sort of option? Something that we never see and that council doesn't see on a daily basis. So I had the best example of this yesterday. Looking at this property, it looks to the outside to be a primary dwelling with a really dodgy granny flat or secondary dwelling on the black. Something that's evolved over time in a, like I suggested, dodgy sort of format. However, when you dig deep into the history, you actually find out that it's a dual occupancy that was created back in the 1930s. However, if you look a little bit further, some more subsequent approvals start to make you go, hold on a sec, someone could take it down this tangent and end up at this answer option here. Or wait, I could see someone going down this pathway and ending up here. Each one of those different pathways has very different outcomes. Outcomes in terms of costs, like one might be five grand, another one might be 20 grand. Outcomes in terms of chances of success, outcomes in terms of what requirements you're looking at and therefore how council's going to handle it, all of that sort of stuff. So obviously, if you're looking at that second sort of option, you're like, eh, I kind of want to have a pre lodgement meeting so I can work out which pathway I'm going to go down and therefore get a better idea of costs, chances of success, timeframes, all of that sort of stuff. The second consideration is how emotionally committed, financially committed, just generally committed you are to the proposal. So if you sit there and you say, hey, we're about to purchase this property, but we will not purchase this property unless we can do this. Then I go, okay, hold on a sec. The cost of a pre-lodgement, one to two grand by the time you pay council fees, our fees, the cost of the property, $1 million, $2 million, whatever it is. The risk and cost factor there, yeah, it's a bit of a different sort of scenario there. However, if you go, okay, we've got this property, we've owned it for 20 years, we've got the proposal plans drawn up, and our question is literally, do we go roof form A or roof form B? Yeah, okay. What I'm going to suggest in that scenario is you take the money, the one to two grand, and you put it into the DA and we negotiate as part of that DA. So the risk and cost factor there is very, very different. And you're basically going, well, hold on a sec. We're going to get a house either way. We don't really care what it looks like. Okay, just doing the negotiation as part of the DA. Okay, now there is a couple of other factors, but they're the key ones I want to talk about today. Basically, yeah, like I said, base, uh, the consideration is firstly, what are you proposing? Had to think about that for a second, got distracted by something out there. <laughs> what are you proposing and how committed are you to the design? I think that covers off everything I want to say, as I always say. Until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane Town Planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah. The views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all. Bye.